Those who hosted President Obama here in Jacksonville this afternoon are celebrating what they describe as a visit that went off without a hitch. Mr. Obama used Jack's court as a backdrop, and court leaders believe the president's visit will help bring some of the issues they're facing to the forefront. Kamasi Aaron is joining us live with more. Kamasi? Mary, the president talked about creating jobs through investments in infrastructure, specifically shipping channels to allow bigger ships to come to Jacksonville. That's an issue important labor leaders, even the governor, have been pushing. They hope the president's visit will get them even closer to that goal. But not everyone was as optimistic about the president's actions to create jobs. We've got to create more jobs today doing what you're doing right here at Jacksport, and that's building this country's future. For leaders here at Jacksport, this visit from President Obama was more than just a chance to talk about the economy. Jacksport Board Chairman Joe York says it was a chance for the port and all it offers to be pushed to the forefront. It highlights the fact that Jacksport is indeed one of the economic engines that drives the economy of Northeast Florida. And it gives us not only attention locally, but national attention. And I think it, it creates a higher level of importance on the issues that we have here at Jacksport. Those issues include the Mile Point project and deepening the shipping channel in the St. John's River to open Jacksport up to bigger ships. It's a move port officials and labor leaders agree will bring more jobs. In January, Governor Rick Scott approved $38 million for the project, but it's tied up at the federal level. President Obama has the ability to speed it up, and York believes this visit may help those efforts. For the president to come here and really uh, focus in on ports and the economic development that comes with investing in ports, we see that as a positive for us, and we think there's going to be some positive outcomes from that. The president not only talked about creating jobs here at Jacksport, but for all Americans, specifically the middle class. For State Representative Mia Jones, that was the biggest takeaway. He's not just leaving it with the people that are there now, but bringing people into that middle class and being able to support that long term, creating additional jobs, making sure that we have an infrastructure that can support those jobs. And so I'm really excited about that. But not everyone shared that excitement. I would like him not to sound like a broken record and just be on this campaign and use his presidency as a campaign. It's time to get to work. And I would like him to really start talking about how he's going to create jobs like he talks about. Melody Pascal was one of the protesters lining Hexer Drive with signs as the president's motorcade drove by on its way to the port. Before the president even touched down, state GOP leaders held a news conference saying that the jobs being created in Florida are thanks to Governor Scott, not the president, and even offered their own suggestions for job creation. To streamlining regulations, to lowering taxes, to aggressively courting companies to relocate here. And uh, the results are there to paying down our debt. It just creates an environment that over time the wheels begin to move. President Obama said the House GOP wants to cut spending on education, science, and clean energy when the country should be investing in those sectors. He says cutting back in those areas would be like waving a white flag of surrender in a global economy. Mary, thank you.